Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick video on a comparison between Lubuntu 20.04 on the left and Zubuntu 20.04 on the right. Now, a good reason to compare these two is because they are both considered to be mid to really lightweight desktop environments there. So always a pretty keen comparison in my mind there. Now, starting off with the desktop environments, this is probably the biggest change because they are both, uh, I guess, have the base for Ubuntu 20.04 itself. So the same backend base, but the front end, notably different, noticeably different. One's using the, the LXQT uh, desktop environment, a very lightweight, fast uh, desktop environment there. So it's very simple, it's a very Windows XP-esque, so quite simple, it's got that HUD, you can type in uh, if you wanna go go some Office uh, tools, anything like that there. Very much similar with this one here. So you've got your XFCE desktop environment. Uh, it's kind of opposites really. You can move these around, you can configure them, but this is just the way that each of them have designed. Kind of very uh, opposite looking there. But uh, yeah, lightweight and fairly lightweight. And we'll get into that a little bit more in a moment. We'll have a look at uh, the next, the, the file managers. Something that always people like to have a bit of a look at here. And uh, they are both relatively lightweight file managers as well, still relatively fully functional as well. Uh, if we were to go to Lubuntu on the left, we've got the PC Man FM, long standing, except for it has been uh, uh, reinstituted as the QT variety there. But still, in other words, long story short, uh, a lightweight. Uh, file manager there that still does everything that you would generally want it to do. On the right, uh, Zubuntu typically uses Thuna, so there we go, Thuna 1.8.x. So uh, again, it, it looks nicer, probably a little bit more refined, perhaps in my mind, it depends on your uh, proclivities or how you feel about this, but um, yeah, it's uh, they're both very usable there for sure. Next up, if we were to have a look at some of the, the basic back-end information, such as the kernel. Now, we are running on the same kernel because it is on the same Ubuntu base, as I've mentioned there before, so 20.04. So nothing uh, to, to really get in on there. Uh, exactly the same, let's call it there. Uh, next up, uh, we have, uh, let's have a, look, a little bit of a look at the apps. So you will find the same basic apps in both operating systems there. You've got uh, a few uh, text office applications, graphics applications, not exactly the same in fact. I suspect that we are missing a few from the, the graphics for instance. So we've got GIMP here, but no GIMP there. But uh, you can download them in either machine, either app. So that's nothing too much to write home about there for sure. Uh, next up, uh, if we were to have just a little bit of a basic look at the uh, the, the RAM and CPU usage, so both idle in there on the CPU, not too bad. On the RAM side of things, uh, the Lubuntu is the clear winner at 350 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so nothing really else loaded. Uh, allowing that space for other things to be loaded into RAM. And then on the other side, we've got about 550 megabytes of RAM. So about 30% more RAM in the clear there, really, for the uh, Lubuntu, or should I say Zubuntu, running at more than the than the Zub Lubuntu. Lubuntu on the left, Zubuntu on the right. So it really is all a matter of preference. Both fully functional operating systems, both do whatever you basically want them to do. Just ones are uh, probably a little bit better for, uh, you know, an older machine, a laptop, that kind of thing. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please leave a comment and subscribe. Uh, yeah, appreciate all of that. Uh, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.